What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All The Mod 7. Guys, we're going to check out if we can capture a wandering traitor with the mob imprisonment tool. So, can you capture a wandering traitor with a mob imprisonment tool? Uh -huh. The answer appears to be no, you cannot do this. No matter how I try and click on this guy, I either don't do anything or <laughs> I open up his uh, UI. So it does not appear that we can do that. It does not look like I can capture the trader llamas either, but I can, for instance, grab the sheep. So if for nothing else, these mob imprisonment tools are good for moving animals around and we don't have to uh, worry about keeping them in a certain location or something like that. We can set up pens and put a couple of pigs or a couple of sheep somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Right, so last time we ended up making this dissolution chamber and we were making ourselves a tank, right? So we ended up making, I think it was the simple black hole tank. Yeah, so we made this thing to hold a lot of fluid and then we realized, I realized, <laughs> uh, that yes, the the tank from, oh, what, what mod is this? Yeah, mob grinding utils. This one right here, this holds the same amount actually. And it's way cheaper than this particular one. This guy is almost full as well. So what I'd like to do today, let's actually start working on the next tier. And we're going to actually use this dissolution chamber over here that we made for it. So yeah, that requires, well, to, the advanced black hole tank requires us to have an advanced machine frame. And that requires us to have pink slime. So to get pink slime, you would need machine outputs. Yeah, mob slaughter factory, this guy. So we need a mob slaughter factory. We need to kill some mobs with this thing in order for us to start getting pink slime. So let's make a mob slaughter factory. We should have a good portion of everything that we need ready to go. Well, at least easily craftable in our applied energistic system. So we need the pity machine frame. And then finally, we just need a gold gear iron nugget. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? I installed the latest version of this pack, auto focus on open, and like these settings <laughs> always seem to get reset. So iron, we need one iron ingot turned into nuggets. There we go. And this, this, that, and this one. There it is. All right. So there's our mob slaughter factory. So mob slaughter factory, we could set it up over here at our mob farm to uh, kill these animals or um, I guess monsters as they're coming down. It's a little dangerous. I do need to get rid of the mob masher. Well, I guess technically I don't need to, but it would be in our best interest to. Uh, actually, before I do anything there, if I remember correctly, the mob slaughter factory has a small radius. We need to upgrade this. So let's take a look. Show working area. Yeah, so it only does a one by one in front of it, but three tall, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we want to upgrade this with a add on. So let's take a look at that add on. We want this one. So this will increase the radius by one. So I'll do a three by three after that. Uh, so we are going to need latex one bucket of latex. Let's take a look at what we got going on over here. So we have the fluid coming into here. Looks like we have six buckets for some reason. Is this not working? Redstone mode ignored. Oh, we're out of water. Why are we not pumping water in there? That must be some problem with the update. I might have to do something, but either way, that's helpful to us. So if we grab a bucket, we should be able to get some latex out of that. Like so. Very good. All right. And then we should be able to. Uh, let's see here. We're trying to make the add on. I didn't bookmark that. Let me bookmark it. <laughs> so, yeah, we should be able to do this. So I need to get myself four cobblestone, two glass panes, two redstone dust. So the redstone's right here. Do we have glass already made? We have glass panes. Perfect. And then four cobblestone. Beautiful. All right. So now. Let's unlock that. Those, this, these, and then the bucket. Can I right click it on there? I can left click it on there. Perfect. Okay. Yep. And we are processing ETA five seconds. And 
Awesome. All right, so now that we have this, we can throw the add-on into here, and now we got a three by three area. So if I place that on the outside where that cow's standing facing inwards, any mob that falls down into the mob farm should be affected by this mob slaughter factory. Now this has two different tanks, right? So it probably makes sense for us to make two tanks here. Uh, let's actually make the cheap ones from mob grinding utils. Let's see here. That would be the jumbo tank. Well, I guess we could use a singularity tank. Those will 32 buckets. Do we, I don't have the glass for that. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go make some sand and smelt that up, and then we'll make those tanks, and we'll be right back. Distractions, distractions. So I noticed that we actually had some glass that was already in here, right? Uh, and then I was like, wait, are there any other furnaces? So I searched for furnace, and we have the iron furnaces mod in this mod pack. And this has the upgrade similar to the iron chest mod, right? So we can make ourselves a stone to iron fur furnace upgrade, which should just upgrade that in place. Let's go ahead and try this together. Get some of those ingots ready to go. So we want to do this and this and... Oh, it pops everything out when you do that. Aha. So it does upgrade it in place, but it's like, no, we're just going to stop cooking and here's all your stuff back. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The iron furnace, it has a cook time of 160. That's uh, 160 ticks. So I think that's eight seconds per item, right? And then the golden furnace, we go to 12, uh, one, I'm sorry, 120 ticks. Diamond furnace is 80. Emerald furnace is 40, so that's two seconds per smelt. Crystal furnace is the same. Netherite furnace, we go to a cook time of five. That seems pretty awesome, but we need, obviously, four netherite for that. So that'll be a thing that we do in the future, but for right now, we can go ahead and make these upgrades. So let's do this. Oh, I need a gold block, so let me just do this real quick. All right, gold block. That's the iron to gold upgrade, and then the gold to diamond upgrade, and then we're going to want the... Emerald. I don't have blaze rods. Okay, well, we'll just do these. So there's this upgrade and this upgrade. So the diamond one, once again, is 80. So that's four seconds per cook. All right, let's see if that work now. I mean, that's pretty good. And this also has augments that we can put into it. Uh, so let's take a look here. The augments are a factory upgrade. Converts the furnace into a factory. We have generators, so heat from the furnace will generate power. That's kind of cool. Then we also have fuel efficiency. Fuel heats up the furnace twice as much. Slows down the cook time by 25% for all recipes. Okay, that doesn't seem that great. Um, I could have sworn... Let me see here. Iron furnace. I could have sworn there was actually a few more upgrades. Aha, here we go. Speed upgrade. Uses up twice the amount of fuel, but halves the cook time for all recipes. So it's essentially just makes everything faster. Right? So let's go ahead and make that if we can. Let's see. That's the sugar one. We are missing paper. Do we have sugar cane? Oh, boy. Um, I need to farm some of that. We have enough. So I guess we can just do this. So there's paper... All right, and where did it go? Right here, found it. So if we do this... Aha! Now we're cooking pretty quickly. I do know that there's an upgrade for the Iron Furnace mod that'll convert this from using solid fuel into using RF, and that's definitely where we're gonna go. I think that's when you do the factory upgrade, if I remember correctly, but... Uh, yeah, that'll be something that we look at for the future. But anyway, we got enough glass here. Let me make those tanks. All right, so I made some changes here. I turned this pipe off, so things are just collecting in this chest. This way, when I eventually go and break our mob slaughter factory, it doesn't get collected by that, and then tries to go into the drawer, find no space, and then end up into the trash can, right? So yeah, just doing that <laughs> for some safety here. So I'm going to pop that out, and I'm going to place this here. So there's a mob slaughter factory. We need to put in this thing. Let's check the working area. Working area looks great. I also did remove the upgrades from the mob masher as well. So those are in my inventory. 
Um, all right, so I think we're good. Now we have the tanks here, so let's pop one of those out, place that here, pop one of those out, and place this here. All right, so we want the meat. We'll just disable all that. We'll put the meat on this side, east, whatever that is. We'll do a push, and then uh, the pink slime we'll do right, and that'll be a push, and then we'll disable everything else. So the fluid should get ejected automatically. The only thing this is missing right now is uh, some power. So power, 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 power. Uh, I don't have any power things on me. I guess I'll just steal the one right here for now. Uh huh. Get ourselves a flux point over here. Sweet. All right. So this has got power. As mobs come in, they should get uh, killed by this potentially. You know what, I might actually need to remove the mob slaughter factory completely. Did that get collected in here? It did, okay, perfect. That got collected, I want that back. All right, so mobs shouldn't die on impact. Maybe they will every now and then, but the mob slaughter factory should just be removing them, yeah. So we have liquid meat in here, perfect, and we have some pink slime, perfect. Now it's not a lot, it's not a lot, but uh, as we back up, mobs should be able to spawn a little bit more freely in there, and then they'll filter down. Uh, there is other ways that we can do this. So the mob grinding utils mod has a golden egg, which creates delightful dirt, which entices passive mobs to spawn, right? Uh, in order to make that, we need to get ourselves the nutritious chicken feed, and we have to feed this to a chicken. Uh, we do have chickens over here, right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So we might take a look at doing that real quick. It says for this recipe that I need to get myself four buckets of fluid XP, and then I need beetroot and some other things. Let's see if we have many of these items. If not, we might just not do that. Uh, beet. We do have beetroot seeds. Potato. We do have potato seeds. Carrot. And we have carrot seeds. Okay. Well, it looks like we got about everything that we need here. Uh, I just need to plant and grow some of those. We do have bone meal available, right? Yeah, we have plenty of bones for bone meal. I'll go ahead and see if I can get this stuff crafted up real quick. We'll be right back. Now, if only we had a place where we could get some liquid XP. <laughs> Yes, we got plenty of XP for this. So we planted the carrot, the potato, and the beetroot here. Yep. And then I was able to bone meal those and then right click them and they stay planted. Goes back to 0% completion. Nutritious chicken feed. Feed the chickens. Single use for the chicken. Creates a golden egg. All right. Let's, let's have some fun over here. Happy birthday, Taco! Uh-huh. All right, well, we got ourselves a golden egg. So this, like I said, will start spawning passive mobs very, very frequently. So, oops, uh, let me go back in here. Golden egg. So what I need to do is kind of undo what we did over here, and then we're going to change this operation from using our hostile mob farm into using passive mobs. So I just set up a simple, well, I was going to say it's an automation, but not really, more of a distributed way of making clear glass here so we have three more casting basins over here for a total of four of them this is set up to distribution nearest first so it's going to go to the first one to fill it all the way up then the next one fill it all the way up etc etc uh so all of these should get a solid amount of glass in them every single time there won't be like a few of them with just like a partial bucket full or whatever Anyway, so all that stuff is all going down into this chest here, and we're getting this clear glass. So over here, I have started setting up a thing. I realized we're going to need a lot of glass here. I was going to use the vanilla glass, but the texture on it, the, the outlines for every single block, yeah, I didn't really like that. So I was looking at our different options, and normally in packs like this, you have the chisel mod where you can like take glass and chisel it and see if you like it, and if not, chisel something else. Um... Unfortunately, that isn't really the case in this pack, and it looks like a lot of this glass is just more decorative and not really uh, seamless, so maybe this would have been, but I don't know. There, I didn't want to try every single variety in this pack. 
I saw that there was a clear glass here from Tinker's Construct, so that's what I decided to go with. And you know, it's not so bad. Just throw in some sand in there, let it melt, and then solidify it, and you're good to go. Also, this glass does not require you to have silk touch, right? So that's also another big plus for it. Okay, so now we got ourselves a box here. I'm probably going to uh, strip this all down, make it, give it a little bit less of a harsh look with the oak log bark on there. Oh, gotta do the top of that. Uh huh. And this side. Yep. So we just got ourselves a very basic box with a five by five by one, two, three, four, by five by five by four interior. Uh, this is the center of the island right here, and that's where I'm going to place this golden egg. Now, we did this because it's going to be spawning a lot of animals, and I don't want them just, like, wandering all around. I kind of want them contained. And since that's going to be a 5x5, five five, that means we need to get ourselves a different uh, add-on here for our mob slaughter factory, right? So, by default, it's a 1x1. One one. If we do a plus 1, it's a 3x3, three three. so we need a plus 2 for a 5x5. Five but this is going to be outside the glass, so it's going to actually need to be a plus three, I believe, right? So the one is a three by three, two is a five by five, three is a seven by seven. So yeah, we'll need a plus three upgrade for that. So add on, whoop, add on. Uh, so this one, so that's bone meal, redstone, glass pane, latex. It's all the same recipe, just instead of cobblestone, we're using bone meal. All right, so we got ourselves our mob slaughter factory over here. Everything's set back up. So we have the meat being pushed. We have the uh, pink slime being pushed, right? So we got all that stuff set up. We have our range tier three add-on. If we show the working area, we can see that is all within the confines of this, which is great. So we can turn that off. And then I put a fence gate here at the, at the entrance. Um, when that's closed, there's only half a block of space here, so virtually nothing should be able to escape. Maybe something is small enough that it could potentially get out of there, but virtually nothing should be able to. Uh, so let's put down this golden egg. I assume I can do this with the torches. Yep, let me grab these extra torches out of here. So yeah, we can see now that we're spawning all sorts of animals. What was that sparkly thing? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so the animals just kind of like pop out of existence, which is pretty good. Looks like it is growing tall grass in here. These little guys are spawning and getting deleted. I do believe that actually goes beyond the mob cap. So even though there's like other animals around, it'll still spawn in additional ones. But yeah, so that's all confined in here. I don't think this grass spreads any, so we don't have to worry about it like taking over this island or anything like that. And we should be able to get a lot more pink slime this way because you get more pink slime from animals than you do get from hostile mobs. And I think depending on the size of the animal it gives you more or less. So like horses, for instance, should give us a lot. That was like almost a bucket or maybe half a bucket's worth. All right. Well, anyway, we got four and a half buckets of pink slime now. So we can get rid of this, 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 and that advanced machine frame. Now we can go back to making this thing. This required half a bucket. So it, we get enough stuff here. We should be able to make two of these if we wanted to. Um... So it looks like 250 millibuckets of latex. So I can make four of those and then we could turn two of those into two of these things. I don't know if we need two of those, but maybe we'll just go ahead and do that anyway. All right, guys. So I was going to go ahead and make like four of these things, but then I realized, yeah, this requires a netherite scrap. We had three netherite scrap, but we had a bunch of nether rack in our system here. Uh, I think we had like 500 pieces. I used all but like a stack plus a little bit. Uh, I sifted all that over there. We ended up with a bit more netherite scrap. Yeah, we got three remaining over here now. So I guess we ended up with a total of four because I used four here. Anyway, so we ended up having uh, enough here to do two advanced machine frames. So that's pretty awesome. So now we can come back over to this thing here and make ourselves the advanced black hole tank. That does require two I have ender. And there it is. We did the thing. That's awesome. So, whoa, okay, we're pig stepping over here, I guess. <laughs> That's really loud. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to be pig stepping over here for a little bit. All right, so this tank, yeah, this is basically full. So we can get rid of this, get rid of this one now. And we can place this guy right here. The advanced black hole tank. Yeah, this is going to hold quite a bit more. Why? 
Why is it so loud on me? What is even happening? Okay, whatever that was. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, those mobs, I need to disable that. Like I said, this is a new install of the pack. There's a way you can uh, have the mobs that spawn with the music disc playing backpacks not spawn like that. I need to turn that off. Uh, anyway, now that we have this here, I need to take this guy and transfer the fluid from one to the other. Actually, can I do that from inside? Can I right click? Left click? I can left click it. All the fluid is in there. This one's empty. Very good. So we can hold quite a bit of XP in this thing now. Mm-hmm. So that means I can come over here and grab this whenever I want to and empty it into that. Eventually, we will probably just have, what is it called, the Ender Fluid Tanks? Shipping that stuff around. Yeah, again, we need blaze rods in order to do that. So there's a few different ways that we can get blaze rods. I was actually looking at this a little bit earlier here. Uh, it was in this somewhere, I think right here. What in the blazes? Yeah, so... This wants us to go to the nether for this, but anyway, this task here wants us to have four blaze rods, and it says that we can get them, as we know from blazing dolls, we can spawn them in the nether, or we can sit for blaze powder, but in order to do that, we're gonna need machines to convert the blaze powder back into rods. Uh, if you find a spawner, you can make a cardboard box or mechanism and use it to take the spawner home. Actually, that, that might be what we end up doing. I was thinking in this pack that the nether was void. Maybe it is void, but the the strongholds still spawn for the fortresses. I'm not entirely sure how that all works. We could take a look at that, just poke our head into the nether and see what's going on. Let's make a flint and steel. Flint and steel, one of those. And then uh, we are going to need, I guess, obsidian. Uh -huh. Plenty of that. Do we do the full size portal? I think we do the full size portal. Where do we put said portal though? I guess we can put it over here. Yeah, we'll just stick it all the way in the back over here. We'll do the uh, the, th the three wide portal like I do sheep. <laughs> Careful now. Is that centered two, two? Yes, it is. All right. So we do five, one, two, three, four. Wait. Okay, I almost screwed that up. One, two, three, four, and then oh, I got show. Sweet. Now we got a three by three portal. Sheep, would you like to go to the Nether? I don't think Sheep wants to go to the Nether. Let's see what's in the Nether, shall we? Aha! So it is void. It is. It is. So, no bastions, no fortresses. If we take a look at the mini-map, do we see- Oh, we can see something! There is definitely something up here to the north. Okay. Uh, we do have our jetpack, but I don't know if we're chunk-loaded. Is that gonna... It might actually allow us to get over there. Uh, do we have a shield? We do have a shield. That's kind of important. We have a sword, we have a shield. Alright. Uh, to the north, that's this way. Let me put a waypoint here so I- I can remember portal. Uh, actually, it wanted us to make a cardboard box, right? Or it said that we should. Is there a good way for us to get this? Sawdust? Can we hammer? We can hammer logs to get it. Okay, so let's actually go back to the overworld real quick. I'm going to grow a tree. Yeah, let's do this real fast here. Uh, oak. We'll grow a tree and then grab ourselves this thing. Vein mine the tree with a hammer. Very good. That should be enough here. Yeah, we got six of those. Cardboard box. Awesome. All right. So now that we got that, we go back to the nether and then hopefully we can get ourselves a, a spawner from that fortress. Oh, something just happened. All right, so we got ourselves some crazy mob over there. A lot of wither skeletons right here. It sounds like there's blaze all around. That blaze knows about me. Let's actually just fly over to one of these spawners, see if we can grab it real quick. Oh, I shifted. 
All right, we gotta back off, back off, back off. I should be able to kill these guys pretty quickly. Oh, come on. If I could aim. All right, so we want to break this. I got ourselves a blaze rod. There we go. All right, so now we have the blaze spawner. Very good. Uh, Wither skeletons. Papa and Papa Hab Weldon Crow, the gorilla slaughterer, has awoken nearby. Are these guys like really tough? Like, can I? We're just getting all sorts of these guys, huh? Okay. Maybe. Maybe that's something I'm not gonna mess with. Okay, I'm on fire. I got plenty of food. How's my jetpack? Jetpack's fine. Uh, I don't know how the residual power is working. Oh, this guy's just going after everything, huh? Overseer something. Ah, that's a hoglin. Or a piglin? Piglin. Oh, and he's gone. Right, there's a lot of, like, these boss monsters spawning nearby. I actually don't know how difficult they are. <laughs> I didn't see, like, a health bar on them. Uh, they might have a thousand HP. They might have 50. I don't know, but I don't want to get one shot by them here in the nether and not be able to come back and grab my stuff. Uh, so we have the cardboard box. I did actually want to try and farm a little bit of blaze rod while we're here. So let's see if we can do that, maybe. There's some blaze rods. Does this have looting? We don't have looting, so... Uh, we just gotta get lucky on these drops for right now. Looting is definitely a thing that we should work on. We'll have to do that. Oh, I'm gonna get on fire again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I guess I can just come over here and kill these guys instead of waiting on that spawner. Is there a reason these guys are highlighted like that? They're glowing? Was that a special blaze, maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, does this bow, like, highlight these guys? Maybe that's what's going on. The Wither Skeleton with diamond armor? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. The bow highlights them every now and then. Oh, that might be a problem. Grab that stuff and go. <laughs> All right, what do we end up with? Just a blessed diamond chest plate of defender armor. Okay, okay. Very good. Geometric gem purity 40. All right. So we're going to get a lot of weapon spam from these mobs like we have been throughout the series. That guy's got a pickaxe. This guy's got a bow. I am kind of curious to see what's in this chest. Compressed iron ingot. Sturdy bee cage. What was this? Compressed stone. All right, all right. Whoa, this guy is right all up in my business. All right, well, we came here, we saw, we know that we can tackle this for the most part. It's not, it's not a huge deal. Um, and it's not very far from our portal either, so that's very fantastic. All right, let's go back to the overworld. Oh, the sheep did come through. Look at that. All right, guys. Well, we ended up with only two blaze rods that we collected from the nether, but we do have the blaze spawner so we can set up a way to auto farm them. Yeah, we could set up like, what is that? The mob masher back here that's killing all the mobs. We have the ability to put looting 10 upgrades in there, whatever that equates to. I don't know if that's exactly looting 10 or whatever, but yeah, that's a way that we could do it. Uh, we don't have looting on our weapon. And I did see in this pack, looting, if we take a look here, yeah, we can have uh, up to looting eight thanks to apotheosis. But in order to do this, that's gonna require a lot of experience for actually obtaining that enchantment. And we'd also have to set up the apotheosis bookshelves and all of that stuff, which is not an easy thing to do right away. So yeah, I think the mob masher is probably our best bet on getting a lot of blaze rods real quickly. So we'll look at doing that sometime in the future. But anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.